Okay. So we are now recording. So it looks like we're taking minutes today. I think Laura's not here, right? Correct. So then Jesse's the next one on the list, I think. Jesse, can you take minutes today? I don't have my computer with me. Uh oh. Let's see who else do we have then? Vasu's not here. Don, is Don here? Nope. <laughs> and then it's down to me, Estella. Estella, can you take minutes today? Yeah, I can do minutes. Okay, we'll give you credit for that and then go back up next time. Let's remember to start with Laura next time I'm and give you note. credit when we get there. Okay, great. Okay, so in, because we're only doing this for an hour today, I'm going to uh, skip right to reviewing and voting to the minutes and not do the opening stuff that, that Vasu usually does. Um, so is there any comment on the minutes? Oh, there's Andra. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. We're just asking for any comments on the minutes. And if not, if someone wants to move to accept them as they are. I'll move to accept the minutes. Is there a second? Second. All right. Okay, we need a voice vote in no particular order. Um, Goldner? Yes. D? Yes. Roof? Yes. Breger? Yes. Selman? Yes. Rose? Yes. Okay, minutes are approved. Um, Jesse, you have a tangerine on your finger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that, I think we're going for public comment, but I don't think there are any members of the public here for this special meeting, so... I think no we, we get to go right through that. Okay, no public, no public comment. Uh, what's next? Next we have Amherst Sustainability Festival. Okay, so I started doing flyers. Um, I decided I won't bring them. You guys didn't want to see them anyway, but I think I will do though is the week before. Uh, I'll, I'll probably send them to you, Stephanie, if you see anything that needs to be fixed. Um, <laughs> you know, let me know. And then I'll have them again, right before the um, uh, the meeting before the sustainability festival, I will bring them. And if there are any last minute changes, since I'm not going to make a lot of copies, it's no big deal to make a last minute change on any of them. Um, so I started working on that, but I didn't get it done, get it finished. Um, I did get a good start. I got two of them pretty much done. Not worth showing today, though, I think. And I lost the page I was taking notes on. Hang on a sec. There we go. Okay. Um, other than that, I just wanted to make sure that we had, I think, I think we have, what we didn't have was people signing up for hours. So what I was going to do is just, rather than spend time in this meeting doing that, I'll just reach out to folks individually and see if uh, I can make all the hours fit so there's at least one person at the table all day if that's okay with everybody, all right? And then we'll get a couple of, I'll figure out where to get easels from. Jesse, I'll probably get one from you and I'll find one somewhere else. And if you have that big, you have a big pad of paper and I'll get some stickers, I'll, I'll get whatever we need. Um, and we'll have a table there, right, Stephanie, so? Um, um, yeah, well, you'll have a space. <laughs> so typically people provide their own tent table and chairs um, and most people just use a regular 10 by 10 pop-up um, and if you don't have one you could be so i'm at the information booth that's my space is basically an information table but um you could be you could be there so and there will be a table i usually almost always have a table and a few chairs and a pop-up tent so Okay, I have tables. I have like four foldable tables if anybody needs, but what I don't have is that 10 by 10 pop-up. Um, I have a 
10 by 10 pop-up, but it's a little broken and very funky to put up. <clears throat> and since I won't be able to help put it up, I'm a little worried about someone doing it who's never done it before. Okay. All Anyone of you else? with affiliations to colleges, do any of you have access to a tent? I've never seen one um, in my department. <laughs> and the reason it's broken is because it was the tent that blew away and landed on its oh. side down at the, one of the sustainability fairs. Sorry. <laughs> I do think we probably want our own. So how are we going to do that? Um, maybe somebody else. Okay, I will try to identify a I'll stick it on my list of things to do. <laughs> if you has, have a friend that has a tent, we, I mean, yeah. we've lent ours out to um, the schools. Unfortunately, the last time we did that, ours broke. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, they're really um, shoddy. Yeah, they're not they're not the best made structures, but um, but yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of times friends might have one, and and I the one thing I would recommend is just that you stake it down. You know, make sure you stake oh, yeah. it down and. Um, sometimes people don't for whatever reason they think it's okay or they just put things at the base and that does not work. You really need to stake it in and you probably need to use the um, ties as well. Yep. Which means, oh, bring, right. which means bringing a hammer. Yeah, I can do that. Stakes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I even have a mallet. A mallet. So, um, all right, I will bring a table, a mallet and chairs. Put your name on the mallet. Other people are going to want to borrow it. OK, and I got to find a tent. So if anyone has a lead on that, send me an email. Otherwise, I will figure it out. Sometimes you can rent them as well. At Taylor Rental sometimes, I think, has them for rent. OK, look at that. You know anyone who, you know, goes to craft fairs to sell their wares. I do know some people who do that. Hmm. I can give a few updates about the festival from the whole bigger event end. Um, so one of the things I, I wasn't aware of this year is that I didn't realize that the farmer's market is actually setting up on the common now. I guess they started that, I don't know if it was like a year or two ago during COVID, I'm not sure. But no. um, so I just I just found this out. Um, thank goodness that I did not do more robust outreach for vendors because in the past <laughs> couple of years, we've had over a hundred vendors and we used that space, like the yeah. whole common. So now I, I have to sort of, I haven't done a check about how many vendors I actually do have. Um, this is about the time where people start sending me messages that they want to participate. So I'm getting more um, requests to participate, but um, I just have to see now, I have to sort of think about the space that we have. So I think we'll be fine. Um, so we're going to be sharing the common with the farmer's, farmer's market. market. They'll have like a, the first third of it. And I mm. think the way they have their thing laid out, they actually sometimes have entertainment. And so they were, the way they've got it laid out is they'd actually be using two thirds of the common and we'd be lef left with a third of it. But I booked right. the space a year ago. Their request only recently came in. I booked it over a year ago. So I, I don't, I can figure out, I can work out my, the layout fine. I'll figure it out. I've done it many years I know where things go I can figure it out so I'm not so worried about that piece um, so long as they're not going to have their own entertainment I think they need to know that we've got a stage and we've got performers that are already committed and yeah. they've been they've actually been some of them have been committed since 2019 <laughs> so or 20 because um, they were planning on doing the 2020 event and then COVID hit and we didn't have it. So we were just like literally a month before, a month out. It was right around this time of year. And so there's no um, way they can there's no way they can just set up in the parking lot again the way they used to. No, no, no. Yeah. That's like there's that's got to do with, you know, 
permitting and I think and they wanted to transition to using the commons so it really does limit um, other groups using that space on Saturdays for however long they're going to be there through the yeah. season so it is what it is but in any case I think it'll be fine it's actually nice when they're there I think the two events really do well oh, to, yes. to complement and support each other so yeah. it'll be actually really nice it'll be a much fuller event really because there'll be you know everything will be right on the common so um yeah. there's just going to be sort of set up so that there, there'll be a definite division between what's the farmer's market and what is our event but it'll it'll still all be in one place the comments not that big <laughs> so okay. um it'll be cozy right but it'll be good we have some great entertainment and um like i said i'm getting more requests more activist groups thank you for those of you who have been doing outreach to like the university i've got some student groups who have reached out to me so they'll definitely be part of it and um yeah, so I think it'll be fine. I think it'll actually be a very nice event, especially with the farmer's market there. They leave earlier than we do. They'll be breaking down by about one thirty or 2. We're there till 4. So. Okay. I don't know that it matters that it's a distinctive space. I mean, it'd be kind of nice for yeah. the rows to just continue into... They, they won't want to do that. They're very particular about their market okay. so i'm okay. not going to mess with that i'm not even going to yeah. suggest it i'm just yeah. they do their thing we'll do our thing but it'll still all work really well together so I, i'm not i'm not worried about it and i think they just let them do their thing it, it's you know it's a lot to put these things together so i know that they're probably they've got what they do down pat and we've got what we do down pat so right um i think we just leave it as is i'm i'm reaching out to find out about the parking from Amherst College, I've been fortunate enough to secure parking from the college uh, over almost all of the events. They'll provide one of their lots, but I haven't heard back and like the people that I've reached out to in the past have retired. So um, I'm a little nervous about, and it's been a couple of years, like there's that gap. So I need to follow up and find out and make sure that I can get parking for vendors. Otherwise, I do have a request in with the town manager to secure some spaces around the common, which we always do, which is where the drop off happens and the unloading and where um, some, we do have some vendors who sometimes have mobility issues or they have really heavy um items that they they need to be like right near the common or they need to park their car right adjacent to the common so i do have right. spaces a request for those spaces so that's it and i haven't heard back yet but i'm i'll follow up early next week if i don't hear back soon i'm so right, looking forward else? to you having support staff stephanie <laughs> you and me both <laughs> especially right now things are there's so many things going on right now it's crazy it's crazy but haven't I'm not i shouldn't say this <laughs> i was gonna say i haven't dropped the ball quite yet but i'm knocking on wood <laughs> um <laughs> trying not to um i just want to check in is there a rain date for this thing no if it, it is no. oh no <laughs> if it rains we are there we're there. Okay. We, we have had um, all kinds of weather. We had one year where we showed up and on my way in, it was snowing. <laughs> and then it changed to a cold rain. Great. Okay. All well, day. That's, why we want, that's why we want tents. Now I know why we, that's want why we want tents. Well, the other thing though, you know, is, and the rain is one thing, it's the wind is actually in many ways worse. Like if you get a sunny day, but it's super windy, the wind can really be a drag. Yeah, the easels are not if this wind I'll, it knocks you know, I'll everything bring, I'll, bring, I'll bring two tables just in case maybe i'll bring all four because they <laughs> won't they won't blow over in the wind so easily and uh we could always tie things down onto the table rather than you know i'll bring tables and glue <laughs> 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 all right so um if there's nothing else for the festival um i don't think so um I think, so I then, think we're pretty good. Okay, then let's um, uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is the um, uh, school letter, the school op-ed that Jesse put together. Uh, Jesse, you want to share that with us on the screen? Oh, you don't have a. Can you? Oh, hmm. Jesse, I'm concerned that the 
the um, version that I put in your packet is not the latest version that you did. I mean, I didn't do a new version. Did you it, it, comment or I have Laura's comments on mine. So it's not a, it's not a clean copy. It's the comments from Laura. I mean, I put comments on hers and she either accepted or did not. So I'm not sure. All right. Do you want me to, I mean, it's in your meeting packet. <laughs> so it, I guess I can share what we have. Yeah. You could just look at it. Yeah. I can me... put up what we have. And okay. I suppose just, uh... there's a, we could double check quickly with Laura. And the thing I was thinking might be helpful too is just like a a little brainstorm on on uh, titles as well. I don't know. We don't get to choose the titles. So, so I can. Do you want? I mean, I can share it if. Why don't I just here? Let me see if I can share it. Uh, I can. I, I can. I've got it up. I just don't know if it's the right. You know which version. So I can share. Share what you've got because if that's what we've got, then that's what we should work with, right? Yeah. That's that's all we've got. Yeah. I, I don't mind that the comments are there. It looks like she rendered it as a PDF with the comments still in there, which is uh, fine. It, it just makes it hard for us. That might have been me. I, I have. Okay. I mean, we do have the other version. We have the Word version. If you have a Word version, maybe we can just wordsmith it while we're doing. You want to share the Word version? Okay. Because sure. Let me. I'm that way we can at, just at a glance that looks like the last one i saw yeah. okay good i just wanted so to make sure yeah um, let's use the word version and yep. then edit it as we go along so we can finish it right here and now we should have time to do that i think that's the main thing on the agenda right yes um let me just give me a second here to get this all well, you, set up while you're doing that there was another letter that i was going to write for the pipeline project and I did get a start on it, but it's not done enough. So I will, I'm not going to be there next week, but I'll try to distribute it. And if you guys want to talk about it next week, you can. Okay. So I, I read through this and thought it was okay. Um, I, I don't, I'm fine with, honestly, with accepting it as it is, but there might be a few things, maybe we just want to go through it and find ways to improve it a little bit uh, and think about a title, I think is what I heard Jesse say. Jesse, you want to, you want to lead this discussion? Sure. I mean, I was saying <clears throat> that maybe we can't choose the title, but we can as suggest Andra also has said many times, we shouldn't let people tell us what we can and can't do. So to taking her um, activist stance, I would say we, I, I threw a couple title ideas up there. I think it'd be great if we had a really good title, so good that they would love to take it. And, um, and so I, I think if people, I mean, I really, I, I really thought the, the Stella's comment about, um, this really being for the students and about the students, I found that to be very compelling. Um, so if people have a great title idea, maybe we could throw a couple up on the, out. I don't I don't think, let's see, where is everybody? Um, let's see the titles. Hmm. I would, um, I would make it uh, something more, uh, it, it has to have the word school in it. So the first one I like, but I'd say it as um, new school fights climate change for our students. Do you want me to just change this one or make it an additional suggestion? Or how about just a, a green new school for our students? We're I was going to suggest um, <laughs> our kids deserve a climate friendly school. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I like that one. I, I thought this was a great version of the letter. I don't think the title should have fighting in it because that's like, I just don't think it should have fighting in it. I'm sorry, our kid, what was Dwayne's? Our kids deserve a climate friendly oh, yeah. school. Yeah. Right? 
I think that's a little user friendlier than responsive school. What about attack? So I'm putting a star attack. next to that is like the preferred choice. I think that's great. Because it because it it also kind of it's an op ed. It's not a it's not an article. It's an opinion piece. And this is what we think. We think the kids deserve a climate friendly school. Yeah. Um, and then we go on to explain why it's such a great idea. Would it be too long to add that phrase and saves us money? That's a, that's a key issue for many people in town, but that might make the title a little longer than we want. I thought that um, that was addressed pretty explicitly in this draft. Yeah. And that title is very like, punchy and hard to be like, no, they don't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd say let's save the um, money discussion for the for the body of the thing. We could have a, 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 a uh, it's pretty clear sub in subtitle. We, we deserve to save money. Oh, we deserve to save money. Yeah. <laughs> although although it's hard to it's it's a little bit oversimplifying, right? Because <laughs> well, that's the title. <laughs> it's a headline. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I don't think they do subtitles for yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I think you'll be lucky if you are able to get this one that you suggest. Yeah. So you can put well, it I in. Say, and... I would propose that we cross out the other ones and and send it in with yeah. that yeah. title. Okay. And Good. Net zero elementary school, which will save money and reduce green. I like so the first paragraph. This unanimously element. Um, is there a way we can confirm unanimity? Are any of you not? Well, I, I mean, mm, this is a little bit tricky. I, I think you are all unanimously in support of providing this letter. Yeah. So yes. you were taking your joint position. So I would say that that's unanimous. Okay. Yeah. And you all voted. You were all at the last meeting and you all voted for this, for doing this letter. So then right. I would say that's what this unanimous. is. Yep. The proposed new net zero elementary school save money. Fossil fuel. Uh, yeah, I think we should leave unanimous in. Oh, that's what I can't. I mean, I, I'm not going to mess with it. I think Laura them. was just being like, uh, wanted, she didn't want to, thou shalt not assume kind of thing i think she just wanted to be not say that unless it was really true yeah i would i would uh, i'm i'm adding i'm just going to take some notes i'm not going to make all the edits right now okay. just easier for me so i'll leave that in but and i'll, and I'll take out the comment can i just also be uh, um just careful and get stephanie's thought on this i mean I, we talked earlier about um, that as a political body, we're not really um, in a position to support a vote one way or the other, and that we weren't necessarily expressing support. I didn't think of the concept of the school, but the the climate friendly features of it. Um, and and I, I'm I'm fine with the way it's written, but I just want to be extra cautious that we're not saying anything here that we shouldn't be saying as a political body. Um, I think as the ECAC, we're allowed to, I mean, I, I don't want us, to, honestly, I don't want us to say which way people should vote because that's a trickier question, but I don't think we're not allowed to do that. I think we are allowed explicitly because we're a, we are a policy making and that's sort of our role here, right? I would say just lose the end vote on May 2nd. I think you could just say we write to encourage you to learn more because you're okay. calling for people to take action by learning more. Um, you're providing information, but I, I mean, I, I mean, it's just general. It's not, you're not telling them which way to vote, but. I think there'll be I, plenty of other articles about voting on May 2nd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. People won't miss the date if they're interested. Right. I think what your what your 
really providing is the climate information, the climate perspective on this construction. And right. I think that's, it's not to tell them one way or the other about the voting, but just to provide them the information that they need that helps them to vote, if that makes sense. So I would just lose the end vote on May 2nd. I, I would, you, we can even leave that whole last sentence, right? Building a fire station. It's an opportunity to show. I, I, would, I would strike the whole last sentence. You all let me know what you'd like me to do. Well, I mean, if we do say we write to encourage you to learn more, we probably should offer where they learn more from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here. I mean, we're writing, we're teaching them more. So why don't we just stop? Yeah. Why don't we just, yeah, strike the sentence? Yeah, I agree with that. I agree. It's gone. <laughs> Can okay. I just be double clear, though? On uh, I was more not concerned, but just wanted to flag the first sentence, which says we unanimously support and then some adjectives, but support the elementary school. Yeah. Uh, um, and is that okay? That's is okay. That mm. I mean, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to think, you know, we could say we, you know, we are, uh, it, that ECAC is yeah. excited about the new proposed, the proposed new net energy fe fe uh, features of the, of the new school. Yeah. Mm. The I think it's okay. We did vote to unanimously support it. I mean, obviously we yeah. want to support it. The, the, pro, the, 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 the subtlety and the problem here that I pointed out last time is that the, the vote is not strictly for just a new elementary school, it's for an increase in taxes. And yeah, right, 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 exactly. that's, the, that's the sticky point. So I don't have any problem with us saying we support the school and we should say that we support the school and encourage people to support the school. And if that means for them voting to raise their taxes, then they should do that. But we don't have to talk about that because <laughs> that's not our we, purview. Yeah, we do talk about it in that it, if this- Well, it saves town, money overall, right. Overall, it's, no, if, if we're gonna- the if, town, if the town would put up the money to, to avoid the tax increase, Because Wait, then the you get not, and, and then the town's what? not putting up the money to do I not, did I not understand that correctly? You the town is increasing taxes. There's, there's no way around it. They're trying to decrease how much the increase is. Right. But, but, but we're being at, we're all it. being, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> they did, they did vote to decrease the amount um, of the, the amount that has to be borrowed. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and to, the one way or the other, the taxes are going to go up to pay for the school, but they would go yeah. arguably go, need to go up more if it wasn't climate friendly. Yeah, exactly. And be aware, yeah. I actually got a mailing that you all probably got too, encouraging me to vote yes, that on the very front said it's a temporary tax increase, but it doesn't tell you that temporary means 30 years. So I'm sorry, that, that was a little bit of beyond the pale for me. <laughs> That's not temporary. <laughs> yeah, and it's interesting. And if you go and look at the tax rate in our town, it's the proposed increase would bring us. It, it was more last year. It's it's still going to be less than it was last year. The tax rate. Was it? That I didn't yeah. Know. You look at the tax rate, and the town goes up and down all the time. Oh, oh, okay. The tax rate, but the taxes are going up. The tax rate is going down because the cost of housing here has gone way up. So our taxes still keep going up, up, up every year. I've never had a decrease in my taxes. <laughs> they just raise my right, right, right. But the rate, the rate, they adjust. They're constantly adjusting the rate, yeah, yeah. up and down. Yeah. Let's move on with the letter in the school yeah. that was for yeah. yeah. So then there's a lot of information that I think is all good information, and I thought it was pretty well written. And I think that's sort of the, I, I was a little bit torn as to whether or not this background stuff was really necessary, but then I think that's the purpose of the letter. The whole purpose of this letter is to get this information out there. So I think this is good. I did, I did feel like I kind of got lost at the, the specific argument about it's gonna cost less because it's green got lost. And I wish that could, that part of it could move up, but. 
or or have a paragraph less of the background, but I, I didn't do that kind of level of editing. Let's see, where is it? In 20 days, keep going down. So there's a whole sentence, the whole, then, then there's this whole section on eliminating fossil fuel makes climate and financial sense. So there's all this information about the IRA and things that are going on. And then there's, will cost less to build and operate. So why don't we raise that sentence up then? That see that, and thanks to the IRA and state incentives, it will cost less to build this. Why don't we just start that whole section with, it will cost less to build and operate this net zero school than one with a conventional heating system. Why don't we put that? There's a, there's a sentence in here. Right here. Yeah, and thanks to the IRA. Um, or maybe, yeah, if we do that, then I have to wordsmith a lot of it. So, but that's the part you were talking about raising up to the front, right, Andra? Yeah. Somehow get that thought right at the beginning of we that. Could repeat, we could repeat that concept. We don't have yes. to move it. I, we could repeat it. We or already we could change el the eliminated a sentence and we're under the word number or, by a little bit. And there was another sentence we maybe could eliminate as well. Yeah, go up to that title, that, that title for the second part. What, instead of saying eliminating fossil fuels, why not say it costs less to operate, put in big bold print like that, it costs less to operate this school than one with conventional heat. It will cost less to operate this school than one with. I don't know if conventional is the right word. This is still that, a fairly that's not, conventional. That's just conventional, that, okay. Larry, that's just moving it up like five lines. That, that's not what I meant. What did you mean? I meant- Up to know, the beginning. Before the background, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 Andre, I think that's a good idea. And I think we could just write a short sentence that's similar to that as part of the intro. Yeah. I, Jesse, I, do you want, are you um, taking notes to work on this more with Laura or, because uh, I'm assuming that you're no, going to wordsmith think, this I more? We were just gonna, <laughs> I didn't know this was going to happen in this okay. level of detail. I thought Laura was going to get comments from everyone prior, you know, at the end of last week. So I, I could, I'd have to run, grab a piece of paper, which I'm happy That's to do. That's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm just, if, if, I just want to make sure I'm capturing what folks are saying. Okay, I'm I sorry. Get a piece of paper? Well, yeah. just, yeah, as a backup, because I think ultimately this is on you and Laura and I don't want to mess with it. So, okay, I'm sorry. So you want to take this thought right here I mean, and move it up. Like well, repeat it in the beginning. I put it in the beginning, yeah. basically. Less to build and operate this net zero school than one with a natural gas heating system. Yeah. I mean, and just repeat it. It doesn't have to be, right? But we haven't really introduced IRA or anything like that. So it might just be, you know, thanks to federal and state incentives, um, it's going to cost less to operate this building um, as a climate friendly building. Do you want that right up front? Like right up? Yeah, right there. Right, right here. There. Yeah, that's a good idea. So thanks to sorry. federal and state incentives. Yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Here's my question. Are people in favor of saying natural gas. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I think most people know that natural gas is the cheapest way to heat right now, so. But we do have a moratorium anyhow, so there's that. But we do have a moratorium, yeah. That might that, then one, okay, then one with a fossil fuel heating system or one with a, what would you call it? Yeah. I would yeah. say fossil fuel if you're not gonna say natural gas. Yeah, okay. I'd say fossil fuel gas or Fossil fuel. No, no, fossil fuel. Fossil. That's a good. Fossil fuels better than natural fun. gas. I, it's toxic combustible fuel. So <laughs> natural. Just, I feel like 
I never want to say natural gas. It's just, <laughs> I yeah. say it's methane. I say methane gas now. I True. like fossil fuel heating system. Yeah, yep. agree. And and that's like nice. Because yeah, so that's also okay. nice because it takes the first sentence, which combines the saving mm -hmm. money and reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and then cuts it into the two pieces. A sentence about, you know, the the school and, and uh, climate crisis and the school and cost, right? So it it's a nice it's a nice paragraph. I, I like the paragraph now. I like that first paragraph, and then I think the rest can stay. So um, there was one uh, there's one thing. Um, where was it that uh, kind of mixed up what I thought mixed up the el electricity versus the heating system. It's two th major things, you know. Go down, go down. Um, It will be. Oh, and, and let's change the natural gas heating system in the, the fossil fuel, right? To fossil fuel when it comes up later, too. Just the burning of fossil fuel. I see it in that paragraph right below your cursor. The burning of oh. fossil fuel in these buildings, not oil and natural gas, just fossil fuel. I, I would search on the word natural and take it out everywhere it occurs. <laughs> okay. I'll do that after. Okay, fine. Okay, maybe it's in the replace. Carbon-free electricity. Okay, then replacing these buildings of the school that can run off carbon-free electricity means. Right. Oh. oh, yeah. Okay, so the, that sentence that's um, just a, above where you are, this paragraph that's split, um, um, the sentence that starts with without, it's a very long sentence. Right here. And yep. I think it should be stated in the positive. With the new school and the grants provided by the state, the town will realize operational cost savings, period. And won't be responsible for. I, I, that's all it needs to say, really. I guess. No, maybe not. Yeah, I, I think I would switch it and won't be responsible for repairing. Um, so with a new school, I don't know. Won't be responsible. Wait, we don't want anyone to be repairing the existing buildings and bringing them up to code if they're still using fossil fuels. Well, that's what would happen if we don't vote for this tax increase, right? No, no, those existing buildings are still there. So not being well, responsible, one one's coming down for sure. Yeah, I, I think the design, as far as I understood it, is predicated on the Fort River not being there. And that's where all the new fields are. And okay. Wildwood. Uh, so oh, the Wildwood right. building stays. Um, Fort River comes down, right. Wait, isn't it the other way around? I thought Wait. Wildwood was coming down. No. Fort River. Wildwood Fort River. will be closed. Right. Fort River will is the site. Yeah, yeah. And what happens to Crocker Farm? But it's the safe. idea is that they would take down both Marches schools. On. I mean, is that yeah? The two so, existing schools would be replaced. So Fort River, it would be in the location, but the existing school as it is would go. They're not just renovating the school, right? You have to take down both schools for. So they're the, taking down both. They, I, I, I want to. I think we need to say that they both, you know, have to be taken right. down. Because otherwise we are left with a fossil fuel building that's brought up to code, you know, even if it's not the town doing it. Well, somebody else could renovate yeah. it. I don't think we should be talking about the old buildings. Let's let's focus on the new one. Right. I agree with that. 
Okay, so just cut that. Well, the, the, that the, reason, the reason the old buildings are in here is because the, uh, one of the big points is uh, they're not these two buildings on fossil fuels versus this one building right. on renewables. And it's, it's, it's a stark difference in emissions. Um, I think I could, we could rewrite that, that long sentence to be in the positive and two um, sentences. <laughs> so why, why don't we just say with I'm a gonna, new school? Go ahead. Okay, with a new school and the grants provided by the state, the town will realize operational cost savings that would otherwise be unattainable. Period. Uh, estimates, let's see. Yeah. I mean, other, we won't be the only ones making the point about the repair estimates, right? Right. Can be maybe letter. we just, um, I'm just looking at the time too. Maybe we just do this all flag fine. this to reply. Yeah. And maybe Jesse and Laura can work yeah, on this a little more. I mean, I what I understand look up is the, the, the important things to capture in that are one, to, to the, the sentence that starts with without, to put it in a positive stance, and then two, make sure we're, we're, uh, we're clear that we're not sort of like getting into the weeds about what happens yeah. to these other buildings. We're just yeah, talking the, the, concisely the about. Right, the important thing is that the alternative is if the new school doesn't get built, the alternative is more expensive, period. The, I think, if I understand this correctly, it's it, the new building is is costing us like ninety six million, but forty million of it is coming from somewhere else, so the net cost is a lot less. And this would be forty million dollars a building just to upgrade them, and then it would still cost us more to run. So I think I think that's I looked it up when I read this because I was trying to figure it out. Um, and my numbers may not be right. I might not be remembering right, but it was something of that order. That's about right. I do think so my, is this okay? Are Sorry. We I'm just my on. comment here is like, yeah, I'm just trying to capture yeah. what you're saying is. Was Stella trying to say something? Yeah. Yeah, I think the numbers are important. I, I think it's I don't I don't think it's a good idea to lose the $40 million per school because if it's just operational cost savings, like if you don't do the research, the orders of magnitude may not be yeah. clear. It do would be nice. Know? Yeah, no, I would keep the numbers in, and it's not, it's it's not that old buildings cost more to renovate and operate. If in this case, that's like oftentimes fixing right. things yeah. is that's the better way yeah. to go. There's some particulars about these projects that makes it right. extra difficult. And if you're going to make that case, you should put the other number in there too. You know, what is this building costing us? What are what are those building? What would that cost us? So that I had to go looking for that number, and it's better if it were in there. If you're going to keep that in, but anyway, that's but, just whatever but, you want to do. But, but my point is is that um, that part of the sentence doesn't talk about you know it, it it wouldn't be enough to repair and bring them to code anyway. They also have to be retrofitted to be all electric, right? So that cost is even more than whatever. And but I do want to make sure where are we getting this estimate from? Is it a solid number? I don't know. It, I, you know, we have to make sure we're using the school committees. You know, ele new elementary school subcommittees numbers on this. Right. I, so I think, I think, I think that number is what Laura shared with us a couple of meetings ago, and I looked at that. She got actual invoice data for all the electric and fuel oil and stuff. No, so no, 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 no. No, this two hundred fifty thousand dollars annually on oil and natural gas. That no, no, not we're that talking number. About the forty million. We're talking oh, sorry. about forty okay. million. Forty million. I'll, so, so I'll check it. For lack of time, let's just Jesse and Laura. What you know? Why don't you check yep. it with Laura and then. I, I'm fine with whatever you want to put in there as long as the numbers are correct. And uh, want to just finish this. Is there anything else we want to say about this? Let's look at the rest of the letter real quick. Yeah, if you slide up, I actually had a question about something. Uh, Tell me. Go up a little further more. Up? 
Yeah, yeah, right here. This, I, this is not a conversation I had with Laura. And so I, I, and I don't feel extremely strong about it, but I just wanted to ask if the group had any similar feelings. The sentence, this is because heat pumps save money. The nonprofit Rewiring America has a free calculator, um, Stacey Abrams, et cetera. It, it, it's my to me, it feels like we're going, we're promoting a whole, movement that and not sort of sticking to um and i know we are promoting a movement but for me the, if we're going to start promoting movements there's things i would start with before heat pumps yeah um, this is a public building for children where this technology is paramount um mm -hmm. as opposed I, to just yeah, let's so delete that paragraph the ira paragraph I want to ask Laura if it's okay with her to delete that paragraph. Not the IRA paragraph. Oh, that's the one, the one I think goes off on a tangent. Oh, well, that yeah. one is money we're using. I think I think you can just delete it after transition. That sentence, this is because heat pumps save money, because I agree that like rewiring America and then Stacey Abrams, like that's like oh, sort of it's in topic. there. Sorry, sorry, it like, was in there. I think. Oh, yeah. I think finishing that paragraph with our northern neighbor Maine is a leader in this transition is fine. And I do think the Maine thing is relevant because there is always that like, do they work in the cold, which like yeah. Maine does mm -hmm. it, they work in the cold. Okay, guys, I think we need to move on. I hate to do this, yeah. but I think I what do. has to happen is Jesse and uh Jesse and uh and and Laura, if you you know, if you if you could take this uh to Laura, Jesse, and tidy it up a little bit and maybe just send it around for input. From everyone on the committee i don't know that we need to vote again but if you'd collect everybody's input on the final version do one more round send it to everyone and if you don't get anything back in a day i'm fine with you submitting it maybe just ask for our comments back and if you don't get any it's consent it's it's uh what is the word i'm looking for uh uh um, you know we've already we've already voted to go ahead and do it if there's no more wordsmithing then i'm happy to have you just submit it i don't does that seem reasonable? I'll just add one thing quickly, uh, just as we're on this paragraph, but um, this is very, and I'm fine with it, but there's something we're trying to educate folks too, but um, this is very national focused as opposed to Massachusetts focused. Um, mm -hmm. and, and our electricity and greenhouse gas and fossil fuel use is quite different than the country. The one right. thing I would, I would particularly think would be, might people might take exception to and also isn't really accurate education wise is that we are really dependent on coal, um, yeah. uh, which we aren't really. We're uh, not. Hmm? We're not right. here. Yes, yeah, so I would, I would, uh, you know, at, at a minimum, just sort of say maybe uh, is made of, of, is currently made from fossil fuel. Uh, yeah. yeah. Our, our, okay. well, our that... electricity is over 50% powered yeah. by natural right. gas. Yeah, and guys, we really need to move on with that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's give this out to Jesse and Laura to deal with and get one more round and try to do it online. And Stephanie, is there any reason we can't finish this up offline with just? Um, I would let, well, Jesse and Laura were, I think, going back and forth with it. So I think what we could do is get it out to everybody and then you could do it one of two ways you could just send your edits back to laura but do not copy the entire group they right. go just to laura or just right. to jesse okay or you can send them to me and i can send everything back okay and then i don't think we need another vote to submit it just as soon as you've got our comments final draft comments go ahead and submit it yeah. so that we don't have to wait on this okay so with that um updates staff updates ecac updates um uh, staff updates um i i think i told you about the festival coming there's a lot yeah. going on i'll have more next time <laughs> okay so. good that's and ecac anything i'm sorry are we it's meeting next spring. week yes you are meeting next week i'm meeting next week okay we were trying this this letter was urgent and um yeah and i can't be there next week so 
so you can't be there of us who can't be there. So um, I actually did reach out. Actually, this could be my staff update. I mm -hmm. reached out to the um, to Athena O'Keefe, who's the clerk to the council, about process. And so what we do is at the beginning, there's basically an election for a, a, a chair pro tem. So I will probably, I can lead that because I can just like we did way, way back in the very okay. beginning. I'll lead okay. that piece. And then as soon as that chair is elected, you'll take over the meeting, whoever that may be. Okay. You can't and, remember. Um, so people know I will I will only be available till six next week. Okay. So I don't know if that means we won't have a quorum. Well, it just depends on who shows up and if you leave and we no longer have a quorum, then we have to end the meeting. We can't continue if we don't have a quorum. Okay. So, but that should be fine. Okay. Don you can't is remember expected up back, right? Yeah. I think so. Any ECAC member updates that shouldn't wait till next time? Okay, in that case, items for the next agenda. What goes on the next agenda? It's kind of already been put together, but you can add to right. it. So what's on it? Let's just to get um, that down again. Good question. <laughs> well, it should be in the notes. It's a letter in support of new DPU members and the review yes. letter supporting the Springfield Climate Justice Coalition. Correct. Right. And, and, and I'm working updates. On that one. And I think some updates, right? Probably that wasn't on the minutes from last week. Let me see. I've got uh, just give me one updates second. from Sorry. Don, maybe. Yes, yes. Um, it was Don was going to update on the PACE program. And sorry, I'm just getting it open now. Um, so it is uh, vote for chair, review in minutes, public comment. Yes, updates from Don and from Dwayne. Gas pipeline discussion, review and vote letter to new DPU commissioners. Staff updates, member updates, items for next agenda, public comment. The only other thing I can think of is it's coming up faster than I expected. We talked about putting together a panel of just us and maybe Scott Chernak, right, Jesse, for a date in May. Yeah. Did you ever follow up with him? Because we should set that date. Yeah, I sent you an email and I see, see you both. Whoops. He said he'd be glad to. Okay, I'm sorry, I somehow... Or I CC'd another Lori, which is entirely possible. Uh, it's possible, I missed it. I get so many emails these days. Um, uh, if you can't find that. it, give me a holler. He'd okay. be happy to do it though. Okay, but uh, so next week, one thing that should be on the, on the agenda, I won't be there, but let's make sure we have a date and uh, we know who's lined up to be on the panel. I can be on the panel. Um, I don't think we actually got a formal list yet. All of us sort of raised our hands and said, yeah, yeah, we could do that. But maybe we should just talk about that a little bit next time. Stephanie? Yeah, what do we, um, and tell me again, this is a panel for? This is a panel to discuss heat pumps, sort of a Q&A, invite the public in and have a, everything you ever wanted to know, you know, ask, ask us about our heat pumps, ask us about our process, you know, what happened. So um, I just I wanted to give you a quick update too that, um, the building electrification group did um, a presentation on um, educating about heat pumps um, the other day. I couldn't attend, but I got the recording link and I asked if I could share that with all of you and they said yes. So I wouldn't wanna show it, um, but I can share it with all of you and that might be helpful yeah. in putting this together. So maybe you wanna watch that first before the next meeting. Yep. I'll send that link. Okay, cool, that sounds great. And I, I will um, write a draft of that letter to the DPU as well. And I'm working on a letter about the pipeline. I'll send that. I'll send that as soon as I have it, a draft for you guys to talk about. Great. Okay. And all right, so I should have those for the packets then. And again, the meeting's next week. <laughs> so this is a kind of very tight time frame. It comes a lot faster yeah. than you think. Yeah. So trying. <laughs> and we're at the public comment if we've got nothing else. Uh, we have one public member of the public now. Tony, any comments for us? Raise your hand.
So if no comments, um, I think we're there. Do we leave anything off the agenda? Do we skip anything? No, I think you, great job. I think you got it all. Stephanie, will you send me that Word document that you were just planning? I will. As soon as okay. I close this meeting, I will do that. Great. Okay, thanks all. all. Right. See you in three weeks. I won't be there next week. Thanks, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.